than human development and focuses on the qualitative and quantitative changes in the population. The quantitative change is easy to measure. It's like your height, your weight, your age, the number of people per area, per population. And um, for children, isn't that really how they um, determine how they're growing is by their height and their weight, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other is the qualitative Changes. It's more complex and involves changes in functioning, um, such as distinguishing a talking child from a non-talking child. And Sandy's not here. Does anyone know? development is the basis, the baseline for all treatment. So this word baseline right here, you're going to hear it a lot. And what's important to know is that you have to know where you're starting from in order to, to get to where you want to go to. Right, as far as like when you start writing your, your um, goals, when you get your patient, um, let's say that person has had, um, um, had a, a CBA and um, you want to know what their normal strength is. So what you're going to do is you're going to test their good side first, right? The unaffected side you're going to test first so you kind of know where um, a where to shoot for, what to shoot for. So the term baseline is very important. Um, you'll see that um, from now on. Um, it's also when the occupational therapist does the evaluation. That's going to be, be your baseline information. So the occupational therapist is going to test strength range of motion, sensation, cognition, um, and that will be all their, their baseline measurements. Okay, so human development is orderly and predictable. There are individual differences and variations. We look at normal development. Um, you need to learn how a normal individual changes and behaves so we can decide what is abnormal or what it indicates. Uh, most people go through the same general sequences of events, though the sequence may vary uh, only when someone's deviation from the norm is extreme. Do we label the individual as having ex exceptionally advanced or delayed skill development? Then we have um, domains of function. You have your physical function, it's your biological sphere. Um, you have sensory motor skills that are needed to perform activities of daily living, um, such as dressing, ambulating, maintaining hygiene, and cooking. <clears throat> you have your social function, which is the ability to interact with other people and successfully complete social rules and obligations. And then you have your cultural norms or expectations. Um, that help to find the social functions. 